In this video, we are sharing some techniques and methods that we use when working with our scroll saw. From the outset, it's worth noting that these methods are specific to ourselves. So if you're doing similar work and similar projects and using similar blades, these techniques might be useful. If you are using a different blade, for example, a spiral blade, some of these methods will not be as relevant. So one of the first techniques that we take advantage of is the fact that a scroll saw blade can be reversed. When we're working with the band saw, it's much more difficult to reverse the blades. The problem with trying to reverse a band saw blade is that it pulls the blade off the runners and then you have to reattach your blades. The scroll saw, because it's designed differently, you haven't got this issue. So one thing that we do, we cut along the line that we have marked. We can then reverse the blade back along this line and cut in a different angle. This can save us time and also allow us to do very precise and accurate cuts. Another thing you'll see us demonstrating is to cut two points. So what you'll do, you'll follow that line and a method and technique we use, we generally cut just to the outside edge. We take about a third of the line that we've marked out, out of the woods. So we don't cut the whole line out, we just take out one third. Now as with techniques and methods, this is subjective. Some people will cut to the line, so similar to ourselves where you will just cut the outside edge out. Others will cut the entire line out. Have a go at the different ones as you're learning. See what suits yourself best. You'll see us then following the line and we will cut to a point. So we will cut along the line as far as we can go. We might then reverse the blade back and follow another line until it joins in a point. That's the beauty of working with the scroll saw is you can do very precise and very accurate sharp cuts. Other factors then that influence what you're doing and as we're sharing our own methods, we will go through what we do, uh, the wood that you are working with because this is all about working with the scroll saw cutting wood. Of course, there are other materials it can cut, but our focus on what we're doing is scroll sawing for woodwork. The wood itself can have an influence in regard to how thick the wood is. So the thicker the wood is, as a general rule, the thicker and stronger the blade you need. In the number system, generally speaking, this will require a higher number blades. The type of wood as well, that can have an influence. The example that you're seeing us working on is cherry. Cherry is a nice wood for scroll sawing. However, we find that cherry as a wood has a tendency to burn on all saws. So what we advise you to do is to use a new blade so it has greater ability to cut the cherry with ease. But this is a learning curve, it's a learning process. Try different woods, try different blades, try different techniques, find out what works best for you. The techniques that I am explaining, these are mainly geared towards your pierce work. So that is doing the internal cuts. Cutting around the outside, tends to be a little bit more straightforward. You follow that line and cut the block away that you don't want. But these techniques and methods can be useful in terms of being able to cut your pierce work accurately and effectively. You'll also see us just demonstrating how you can almost feather edge. So sometimes we'll cut 
a little bit too far away from the line. But this isn't a huge problem because we can just go back over where we've cut and go a little bit closer to the line, just feathering it. Having said that, that technique is one of the more advanced ones to master because it is easy just to have a jagged finish. But if you can just feather the edge of your line, it allows you to have a precise and accurate finish. We also use a technique where we drill that hole for our pierce work and we might just cut out a little bit of wood. So we'll make that hole a little bit larger by cutting in one direction and taking the block of wood away. We might then cut in a different direction and take another little block away. So basically with this technique you don't have to cut all of your pierce work in one go. So that internal cut you don't have to take out the full block in one cut. You can cut a little bit away and then go back to that hole and then cut in a different direction and to cut another little chunk away and so on. This technique can be useful for when you are doing your pierce work. You may be watching this and thinking why are you using these techniques? So for example a scroll saw you can turn the blade right the way around very sharply and that's true but the problem with doing this is that the back of the blade can burn the wood meaning that you've got to go back over what you have done and tidy it up to take away the burn mark so that is why we take advantage of being able to reverse the scroll saw is it avoids you burning the wood as you are cutting it so in this little one, we're just demonstrating turning it sharply and you just get little lines of burn that we then have to go back over and tidy up afterwards. So that's the idea of this last little demonstration is to just show you what happens if you turn it very sharply. You end up burning the wood and that leaves us with more time and more work after we have finished our scroll sawing. Now hopefully some of those ideas are useful. Uh, let us know in the comments section below if you need any further explanation of anything. If that's useful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you know when we upload another video. And as always, thank you again for watching.